Hey guys, Zero Magnamax here. Okay, this is just a quick update. It's not going to be long. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to start transferring over to MTG a little bit more. I'm not quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! by any means, but I'm going to slow down on it if that makes sense. I have three factors behind this. Number one, Yu-Gi-Oh! is virtually dead in my area. That's why you guys are seeing a lot of Dolan Network stuff. That's why you ha I haven't really been posting Yu-Gi-Oh! decks lately or binder videos or any of that because it's died I mean one guy got caught up and didn't pay the bills or something like that so he moved out and he's gone another guy was forced to quit by his girlfriend fiance wife I'm not sure which but he was just forced to quit so he had to sell off his collection then another guy just basically quit he didn't see the point in card games anymore then another player went to Pokemon for a TCG. The other guy never shows up. My One of my rivals doesn't play that much. So basically there's me and two, maybe two others outside of my fiance that could be committed to the game. And even with that said, it's not really looking good. So MTG for me is more profitable right now. Especially if I manage to get to Grand Prix and top out, first place get like between one and three to four thousand dollars. I think is the general range. You get money for winning events for MTG, which is a lot more incentive than a pretty prize card and a trophy. You get a trophy with MTG too, so don't let that fool you. There's a lot of Grand Prix, a lot of Star City Opens. Uh, Grand Prix are the way into the Pro Tour, and the Pro Tour Grand Prize is like $40,000 if you win it all. So it's pretty cool, and that's why I like it. So I'm taking not a break from Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I am going to be less active with it. For those of you looking for another card game for the ridiculous ban list format, Magic is a solid game, just saying. I just gave you a few reasons why it's a solid game. So, it has a lot of good qualities about it, so don't just dislike this video or whatever because, oh, it's about another card game. I like TCGs. Okay. What this means for you guys is that I am looking for Magic the Gathering stuff for my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Not all for all or anything like that. Okay, but... What I'm saying is, like, let's say you've got, I don't know, between a $7 to $30 Magic the Gathering card, and you want, like, $7 to $30 worth of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We definitely can make a deal. We can talk it out, and I will accept MTG for Yu-Gi-Oh in a heartbeat. This doesn't mean that I'm going to take stuff that isn't standard legal, okay, outside of the swords, and I'll get to that whenever I get to my wants. Or that you can jip me on card prices or any of that. And my rules still apply in the description bar. Okay, final part of the video. My wants for Magic the Gathering. Snapcaster Mages. I sincerely don't think you could have enough of these cards. All of the swords. What I mean by this is there's Sword of War and Peace. Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Body and Mind. Sword of Fire and Ice and Sword of Light and Shadow. I'm not sure if there are any additional ones I missed. There may or may not be, but those are the primary ones I know of. And they all give protection colors and have some fancy effect to deal with those colors. So I'm after those. With that said, Sword of War and Peace is not $45, and if you try to come at me with that price, which is Star City Games price, I will laugh at you. No offense, but I'm not going to do 45 on a, a sword be just because it'll go down to 30 maybe $35 when rotations hit and I'm not going to be gypped out like $15, $20 so I will trade it at 30 35 is pushing it that's my value for Sword of War and Peace that's where I think it should be alright I also wouldn't mind zombie stuff and I'll specifically name things whenever I say zombie stuff I mean go look at the tier 1 blue black zombie decks that stuff I'm not talking like junk zombies I mean 
good stuff like Great Crawlers, Garrus Messengers, things like that. Okay, I'm also after Phantasmal Images, and I will take any standard legal Planeswalkers there are. Because I like Planeswalkers. Anything else, PM me. Let me know what you have. Say, hey, I sell this. It's this price. And I thought you might be interested in it. I'm a blue player. Or I go by Esper colors. Blue, black, and white. So I'm generally interested in powerful cards of those colors. Alright guys, that's all. And I hope this video was informative. And I hope it helped out. And I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. Peace, YouTube.